Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Battle Styles video. Today guys, we're taking a look at the brand new Mind Chow today. Now, Mind Chow is very reminiscent of Behem because instead of item locking the opponent, it actually confuses the opponent, which to be fair is probably sometimes better because item locking, while it is strong, your opponent still has boss and they can still attack at the end of the day. And you do confuse them, which is pretty awesome. And the nice thing about Mind Chow is you can use Rapid Strike Energy to attack for just a single energy. Now, the build I'm using is using the Pidgeotto engine. I've tried out the Cinchino engine. I found that the Pidgeotto engine, I found it to be more consistent because Pidgeotto doesn't discard cards. When I found my main issue with this deck was discarding cards with... Um, with Cinchino was just kind of awkward and I don't know I didn't like having to discard a card every single turn sometimes you just run out of cards to discard it's like I don't want to get rid of any of these cards so I found that Pidgeotto was a little bit more consistent um and I liked it a little bit more so yeah for you guys shout out to the sponsor card cabin TCG as always guys if you're ever looking for any PCG pack codes get them over at card cabin card cabin is selling codes online for the cheapest you guys are looking to get any codes whether it be battle styles code still uh, whether it be the pack codes the etb codes or maybe you're looking for any other specific uh, pdcgo pack code like vivid voltage or shining fates or you want to get the rc stelka palkia battle arena code i uh, get them over at car cabin if you get any codes over at car cabin guys of course at the checkout use my discount code code lbf for a five percent discount on order help channel help yourself out and help out car cabin so shout out car cabin check them out Use Carl DF. You can also check out the uh, new articles we're posting over there. I am posting video articles now. So it's a video deck profile of me breaking down uh, a deck that I choose for that week. Um, so, yeah, if you want to check those out, be my guest. I talk a little bit slower in those, so don't worry. It's not like talking about right fast. So, yeah, this list I'm rocking with here, and I'm really liking it. This is a great budget deck, by the way, if you guys are building on a budget. This is a perfect deck for you to build. Um, but this is what I'm rocking with here. Of course, we have cards like Altaria and Lily's Poke Doll as perfect cards to go into. Mind Chow does shuffle itself back into the deck. Now, I'm playing a lot of supporters, and in a deck like this, you just play a lot of supporters and go from there. I got, you know, Marnie, Research, uh, Bird Keeper, Boss. Bruno, I'm really trying out, because, like, the idea with Bruno is if you go into a Lily's Poke Doll and they knock it out, uh, you can draw seven cards. Or if they boss you, you draw, you shuffle draw seven cards. Like, shuffle draw seven is pretty good, and I'm still trying to see if I can make Bruno work. I still think this card is decent. I don't think this card is a bad card at all. And I really want a supporter that can rival Marnie because I'm tired of getting Marnie to four cards and drawing poorly. So I'm trying out Bruno. Um, I don't know if this is the right supporter count. You could probably try to fit in another Caitlyn Cynthia. I definitely can also see a second Bird Keeper or something going in the deck. Um... But we also need to set up, and some of these supporters don't really set you up. Research, on the other hand, sets you up really well. Like, draw seven cards can get you into a lot of your ball cards. Um, obviously, another great card in the stack is going to be, of course, Level Ball, allowing you to pretty much grab every Pokemon in the deck, except for Altaria, but that's fine. Grabbing any Pokemon is good. We even got four Evo Incense to go with it. So, a lot of ways to get your basics down. I'm even playing a couple Capture Gs to help us out on that end, too. Just get a lot of Pokemon in play. Try to set up Pokemon, get our board filled up, and then we just loop the Mind Show every turn. One of this deck's biggest Achilles heel, of course, is going to be cards like Boss's Order and Switch slash Escape Rope. Um, that's one of the only issues with Mind Chow is just flawed in that regard. You do Spinning Whip and you confuse them, but then the opponent just goes um, Switch. Or they go Switch Boss and then they boss out Pidgeotto or your other Mind Foo on the bench because you do have to make sure you're constantly keeping Mind Foos in play um, because you need to make sure you're constantly every single turn going Mind Chow. So the opponent can counter that pretty easily, which can get pretty annoying. So got to be a little careful there. I am playing two Mew because this deck gets absolutely wrecked by spread. And not only that, it gets destroyed by Rapid Strike Urshifu. Um, Rapid Strike Urshifu completely bodies this deck. They play a jillion switch cards. Not only that, their G-Max Rapid Flow attack completely destroys you. And we need to have some protection against that. Um, that's pretty much it for the list. Um, we have one rod. I wouldn't mind maybe playing a second rod if you can find room for it. But yeah, that's the list. I'm gonna go try it out. We're gonna a few games with this deck and see how good it is. All right, here we go, guys. Let's try out the Mind Chow deck here and see if it works. We'll see. We got we're up against a fairy fighting deck, so I don't really know what we're playing against here. All right, interesting hand. We got no other basics. Um, not ideal. It's fine. We'll see what we're up against. Ooh, we're playing against Big Colossal. That's fine. We could beat them as long as they don't play Malolanas and stuff. We could be okay. We'll see how it goes. Our star's not very good, though, so I don't know what to tell you. Mind Chow, Might Foo might be a goner. 
Okay. Oh, I'm guessing they're going Crobat here. Yep. Okay. I was like, wait, what? Why would they punch the Mewtwo? Okay. They do play that Mewtwo engine, which could be annoying potentially, but I don't think it's the end of the world. As long as they don't play too many switch notes, it'd be okay. Okay. My opponent just got an absolute insane turn one. They didn't do a supporter and they somehow got all six basics in play. PGCGO for you right there. All right, let's Marnie them and hope we get a basic or two. Nice. Um, uh, it's not terrible, I guess. Capture G isn't really going to bail us out too much. We can double stab maybe for zero damage. Ten damage, bro. Let's go. Now, hopefully they don't have a supporter. I mean, the best thing they would have is a Marnie, right? We are probably going to lose a rapid energy here. Not much we can do about that. Man, I don't know what I captured you for. We didn't get a supporter off that Marnie. Now we gotta hope they Marnie me, which nope, they are getting rid of their Marnie, which means they are not gonna Marnie me. They got a Crobat. Maybe they'll waste another scoop up net then. That'd be pretty good. Yeah, that's not terrible. Well, they're all still they're nine three cards here, probably. Yeah, it's fine. Three cards. Please do not get an attack. I really want my mind shout, because at the very least we can go spinning whip here. We actually could just boss the Crobat and knock it out. Assuming they don't. Okay, they're gonna Marnie me anyway, so that's fine. Hoping we get a supporter. Pidgeys would be good, too. Hopefully, they whip the Colossal and the Energy. We'll see. Oh, what? Dude, where are my supporters at, bro? Okay, right, at least we got the Pidgey this time. Oh, and they got the Whimsicott. That will get them a Colossal. Now they just need an Energy in their hand. Or vice versa. Oh, boy. I don't know where my draw supporters are at. Thank you, Marnie, for constantly giving me awful hands. I'd love to see it. We can sit behind a doll for a turn and hope they don't have a boss. Oh, it's so disappointing, bro. Where's my supporters? The reason why I put like 50 in the stack is because of situations like this pop up where you have no draw supporter. Big charm over buff padding? Really? What? Why would you? Why would you just not play big charm? Or buff padding? Yeah, why would? What, what? All right, whatever. Unfortunately, my opponent. I mean, their star was just so freaking good, bro. They got literally six basics in play. <laughs> and we're over here barely getting a basic down. We're over here barely holding on um all right we're gonna get another pidgey we i gotta just thin out and just get more pidgeys in play we need we need to get pidgeot online to get a supporter i'm gonna have to do it we can rod the mind chow back it's not a big deal now my question is what are the odds they have a boss in their hand what are the chances they have a boss I mean, we just haven't seen a level ball or anything like we've just been struggling to set up here we've just somehow i haven't seen a draw supporter we play like 50 of them it's not looking good. They probably have a boss and they probably have a boss in their hand. I guarantee you they have a boss here. We'll see. I really hope they don't play too many Malolanas though and switches. Oh, wow, they actually have a boss. Wow, would you look at that? We do need to get Altari online too. I guess this can hit me for 40, but we one shot it. Okay, nice. We drew Pidgeotto. We're going double Pidgeotto. We're taking it easy for a couple turns here. Unless, well, we I guess no. We're taking it easy. We're going double Pidgeotto. You just need a supporter. Bruno, no, no. That's an Altaria. That's a good card, but we don't have a Swablu. Oh, man. Supporters, where are you at? Today? My goodness. Hmm. Tempted to play the Quick Ball. To get like a, a uh, Swablu down, or maybe even. But I don't want to lose Altaria. I'm just going to pass. I don't know, Mike. This game doesn't want to give me supporters, and yet I play like 50 of them. All right, great stuff. My opponent, I mean, I guess they don't have a boss just yet, which is good. They can't really do much. So I'm assuming they don't have a boss. As long as they don't have a boss, we're vibing. Like, if we can hit the Colossal once and confuse it, I'll be okay. Because then they have the flip to attack, and you know, it's cool. Problem is, again, this game somehow just. Where's my supporters? <laughs> Seriously. Where are my supporters? We're running out of Pokemon to go into because we're we only have two dolls left. We don't have an Altarian play yet. All right, let's try to get a supporter this turn game one time, bro. One time. All right, I'm gonna get Swablu this time. Make sure we can get Altarian play. And here we go, Airmail. After energy, I'll take it. That's something at least. I can't play it this turn because we need a supporter first. There we go. We got a Marnie. All right. Unfortunately, I'm not sure we're gonna get the Mind Chow, so I think I'm just gonna capture energy here. Get another Mind Food down. We're going to Marnie. Yeah, I don't think we're getting a thing there. Oh, we got the rapid energy. Yeah, we didn't get what we were looking for. We did, however, get a cannon fodder Pidgey to go into. This works out. 
Unfortunately, I did just Marnie them into five new cards, which means they probably got the boss. Um, we'll see, though. We do have the attack, though, which is good. They probably will find a switch, though. I don't think the, the confusion is going to stick, by the way, but we have a really good hand. Our hand is honestly amazing. We have Bruno when they knock me out. We have Altaria. We have Rapid Strike Energy. Yeah, pretty good stuff. All right, nice. No boss. Really surprised I didn't have a boss, to be honest, but I'll take it. Is that a capture energy? Yeah, it is. All right. Let's go here. See, we top deck. Another capture. Put that on. Do that. And Bruno. And finally, Bruno's making its weight. Beautiful stuff. Good hand. You love to see it. We'll do airmail first. All right. I think we're in a decent spot right now. We finally got kind of set up here. Um... Hmm, do I want the rod? Get back. Yeah, yeah, I want it. We'll, we'll rob back the uh, Mind food, Mind Chow. Fine. Well, we could get back a Pidgey too, I guess. Nah. Yeah, there's too much to say to go through. I don't think they're going to go through Pidgey right away. Uh, any other Mind food down in case they have a boss. We'll switch. Here we go. Spinning Whip for not a lot of damage, but we do confuse them and we force them to have to have a switch. We go into the Altaria and we vibe out. Now... In theory, they do have unlimited bosses orders, right? Well, not unlimited, but they have a lot of boss still. They can still use Mewtwo and Scoop Up Net. So, in all fairness, my opponent can still win the game by using boss four times. It's going to be hard to win this, for sure. It's going to be an uphill battle. We will give it our all. We'll try to win the game and take my opponent down here. We will give it our all. I am scared of Malolana. I don't know what this list is. Yeah, there's Malolana. I wonder if they're going to heal, though, and or they're just going to use it as a switch. I'd probably better to heal, yeah. Okay. I mean, they still don't have a way to deal with Altaria, though, right? So it's not a big deal. Interesting to go into the Whimsicott, not the Surfetch. I guess it doesn't matter. I wonder what they're, what they're thinking here. Hmm. Okay. I mean, they can attack me for 40, I guess. No, they're going to go back with Colossal. Okay. What do we draw? All right, all right. We're going to do airmail first before we do anything else. Just make sure we thin out the deck first. I think I think doing airmail before we do any of our attacks, I think it's just fine. Yeah, see, look at that. So now we can just kind of vibe out. You know? We hit him again. Punch this. Play the bird keeper. Draw some more cards. Yeah, we just... Spinning whip for 50. I'm honest, I'm really liking the Pidgeotto. At first, I thought Sinchino was going to be the way to go, but... I don't know. Sinchino's just sus. <laughs> I don't like discarding cards from my hand, so... I, I kind of think the Pidgeotto build might be better than the Sinchino build. I don't know. I tried both out. The, Cinch the Sinchino build just felt like I was losing too many resources. Forced me to have to play, like, a pal pad and, like, two rods. I don't know. Pidgeotto is just more straightforward. It but it loses to Dragapult, but you already lose to Dragapult anyway. So it's like you don't care if you play a Pokemon with 30 less HP. Okay, cool. We're in a pretty good spot right now. Uh, we only have one boss in the deck, so we do want to find that soon. All right, I'm going to play this first to get the Mind Chow right away. To make sure we keep keep putting damage on this thing. Okay, we need a Rapid Energy. What am I getting Rapid and Boss? I doubt we're going to find that, though. I doubt we're going to get all that. Well, you never know. We have a Sinlin here. Get rid of probably the Mew. Oh, uh, we'll get back Bird Keeper, I guess. Sure. I, I guess Bruno would have been okay, too. Okay, well, we got the boss. No rap energy, though. That's fine. We can get that next turn. Hmm. We can play Capture Energy, which I kind of just feel like doing. I don't know where to put the Capture Energy, though. I guess put another Mind Foom play. I was thinking about maybe benching uh, another Swablu there. Maybe, but I don't know. We do need to have... We, I mean, I don't know. I don't think it matters. Whatever. I was thinking about putting another Swablu in play, though. Just in case. But the Guru is only doing 70 damage. And we one-shot it with Mind, mind Foo anyways, because we did fighting. So it's no big deal. Well, I mean, I guess they can go Guru into a Whimsicott knockout. But we're going to boss the Guru anyways when we get the chance. So it's not, the, not a big deal. 
Once we hit a uh, rapid energy here. There we go. Yeah, we're going to knock out the Guru. Do this a couple more times. Well, we could also just hit the Colossal here. But I don't want Altaria to take 70 damage. So we are going to attack the Guru. Uh, we do open up a bench spot for my opponent. Which is not ideal. But it's all good. This is our only boss, though. To we... Yeah, it's the only boss we have now. But we have no way to get that back, right? We already used our Sinlin. So that was our only boss. And that should carry us. I mean, they can get another Guru down. But do they do have enough energy? You know? I don't know. We'll see. This is why I do want to maybe get another Swablu down, just in case. But for the time being, we're not really going to be threatened. So we're vibing. We're vibing up. I wouldn't mind benching Pidgey, though, just in case they boss me here. There's a Calm. Probably going to get Mewtwo, and they're probably going to Marnie me here. Well, no, I guess they can, because they have to put the card on the top of the deck. Maybe they have a Supporter in their hand. But they would have they would have played it last turn, though, if they had a Supporter. Hmm, I wonder what they're doing. Do they have any? No, okay. And then we can go back to confusing them, hopefully. Yeah, nice. Love to see it. You love to see it. Take this, put the research at the bottom of the deck. No, no, no. We want... No, we want the minefield at the bottom. I, it doesn't matter, right? I, it doesn't matter. Whatever. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We know we're getting Marnie this turn. Uh, we, we can play around it. Bench a doll. Um, could burn a U-turn here. Put it on to Pidgeotto. Yeah, let's do it. Just because Marnie's coming our way, and we can shuffle the deck, and then, yeah, kind of do that, so. Get him here. In fact, they're Marnie, we know, we know we're not getting boss. That's why I didn't bother benching the second Mindfu, because we know we're not getting boss, because they're most likely Marnie me here, so, yeah. We don't have to worry about getting gusted. And I guess having the doll down means we can counter, uh, escape rope. Yep. <laughs> okay. Got the double Mindfu. Uh, maybe we should take in research. I don't know. Marnie just, I don't know. If only Marnie shuffled the deck. All right. Let's see what they got. They got no play at all. I'm surprised they haven't hit a switch yet. Okay. They still have two nets left for that Mewtwo, which is kind of annoying. I'm going to play this now and get the Mind Food out of the deck. Here we go. Will we find Rapid Energy? Didn't get it there. Is this going to get us Rapid Energy? No. No Rapid Energy just yet, folks. This is where I wish I had the other Capture G on. We already wasted it, though. But we could have at least hit him with uh, Speed Dive for 20 damage. But that's whatever. I guess you could play, like, three Captures. You could play four Captures. I don't know what you would cut, though, to be honest. I have no idea what you would cut for the Captures. You could just play Twin Energy instead. Yep, there's the boss. Oh, the okay, I like this. They're actually hunting the bird, which is good for them, bad for me. But that's why, that's a good play. Yeah, that Mewtwo. They can get Maulana back on top. Or they can put the boss back. Quick ball. Oh, now they're bench locked if they bench something here. Well, if they bench that, now they can't get that back. If they have a switch here. Okay, they're going to Mewtwo. But they put Malana on top of the deck. Do they have a... They have to have a switch in their hand. Do they have a switch? Oh my god, and they get lucky and knock out my Pidgeotto. Bruh. Yo, that's so triggering. <laughs> Man gets lucky. Oh, there's Rapid Energy. A little bit of luck will do it, I guess. I'll get rid of one of these. Get, a, get the Pidgey back into play. Man's out here getting lucky. How dare you KO my birds? That was a smart play, though. What did they put on top? They put on top Mallow. No, they did put the boss back. So they're going to boss again. Well, we'll be ready for it. Spinning whip. For 50 damage. Bring in the Altaria. Right? Yeah. I'm actually kind of happy they didn't put Mallow on top of the deck. Oh, my Pidgeotto, bro. That's so unfortunate. Bro, if they get back-to-back -back heads on Confusion, I'm going to be so mad, bro. No way. Do not get double heads on Confusion. I swear, man. This man should play the lottery. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We still need to find the Pidgeotto. There we go. Well, we could take in Research, actually. Yeah, we should take in Research there. 
I don't know why I didn't do that. Now it's at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, should have taken research because now we're kind of back to square one. Oh, no. Make sure we get another mind food down. U turn. Altaria. Yes. See, I wish I had the capture Geon. Just getting 20 damage on this thing would have been nice. They did just waste another Mewtwo on boss there, so they have one scoop up net left. So they have one out left. Okay, research. That will most likely get them a switch. I'm very surprised they have not played a switch yet. Like, they've gone through... Like, they're literally almost out of cards in their deck. The fact that they haven't seen a switch yet is amazing. Maybe they don't play switch. No, they have... Every deck plays switch. Why would you not play switch? <laughs> what? Why would you not play switch? Yeah, I have no idea what's going on. I should take in the research. I really got not taking the research there. I had no reason not to. I would have thinned out the deck, too. That was a misplay. Definitely a misplay. The Pidgeot OK was pretty annoying, not gonna lie. I wish maybe we played like a better Brock or something. Ooh, they're gonna hard retreat into the Whimsicott. Okay, wow. That's interesting. That's really good now. Unless uh, they might play Cheryl, I guess. I, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, there's Rapid Energy. So we have the knockout here. There's research. Now we can play the research. Do I want to, though? I don't really think it matters. No, we can wait a turn to play research. We don't have to play it this turn. No rush. Go here. And spinning whip. I just want to have another mind food down. How much energy are they down, though? Six, seven, nine. They're down nine energy. They are down quite a bit of energy at the moment, so we'll see what happens. Even win sense. Not really a good prize. All right. They have one scoop of nine left. They're going to go surf fetch. I, I'm assuming they're getting a prize this turn. I am assuming that they are going to take a prize here. We'll have to see what happens. Yeah, there's the energy. They do have it. They probably have that last boss in their hand. No, they concede the match. Whoa. That was a quick concede. All right, let's go. We took a dub with the Mind Chow deck against Colossal. All right. Did they play any switch in their deck? I am very curious. Did they have any switch? Oh, wow. They had no switch in their deck. Well, I guess that's one way you win with Mind Chow. Your opponent doesn't play switch. They had two boss. They did play two Malolana, so they had one switch out. I guess they prized their last Malolana. But they had another scoop up net. I'm very surprised they conceded there. To be honest, I don't even know if we could have won that game, but I'll take it, bro. A dub is a dub. Mind Chow, rock on. Hey, okay, here we go. Let's try out the uh, deck again. Um, but yeah, I've added in a second kill Cynthia and I've cut a research. Just feel like the deck probably needed a second. Second Sinlin, but we'll see how it goes. Um, we get a Mind Chow Star. Not a bad hand. I, we do have a Capture Energy here, so we can go Quick Ball for Swablu, Capture for Pidgey, maybe. Wouldn't mind getting the energy on the Altaria in case we need to attack with it. It's rather than Napoleon. So it's only basic Pokemon that don't have abilities, which is good. Um, get rid of the Quick Ball. They could Marnie me, so I think I want to keep the Rod in case they do Marnie me. There is a slight chance. We are up against Urshifu, maybe, which... We have to hope we didn't prize both Mews. No, we prized one Mew. Okay. Put that down. And pass. All right. Pretty good start. Um, we'll see what my opponent ends up doing here. They can't attack with Empoleon turn one. We'll see how it goes. And if Mind Shao can take down probably what looks to be a Rapid Strike Urshi deck. We will have to see what happens here. But I'm interested. Mind Shao's... Man's a G. All right. The Pokecom. Yeah, so it is Urshifu. So we have to make sure we have Mew in play. I kind of don't like getting rid of the Rod now because we only have the one Mew in the deck. The other one's prized. So we'll see what happens. This matchup is definitely going to be interesting. Uh, what the? This matchup's definitely going to be interesting. I think the main issue is going to be, though, um, that G Max attack. It's a pretty hard attack to deal with. Surprised they played that rope. I guess that's one less switch out they have now. And I mean, it's all good. It's all good. All right. So what are we looking here? We're going to research and maybe try to get into the combo to attack the Empoleon. Okay. Confusion on it. Hopefully they don't find Urshifu this turn. That would be good. They haven't played a supporter yet though. Yeah, but I'm hoping they don't get Urshifu down this turn. Nice. Let's go. Nice. And there's a Marnie. We could protect the Ornay Rod. I do think we just research, though, and just full send and try to get this thing confused. And look at that. We did get there. Um, we got another doll, too. We didn't get Altaria, but we can try again here. So let's bring this in. Evolve. Attach. Bench. Airmail. 
Nice, another mind chow for next turn. Love to see it. Bench the doll. Spinning whip. We do need to get more Pidgeys in play. I'll admit that. We do need to try to get some Pidgeys in play. Uh, bring in the doll. Pretty good stuff. Good turn and good turn. We'll see what my opponent ends up doing here. Best case scenario, they uh, flip tails. They flip tails in the coin flip, and we get another spinning whip off. We will KO them here because they will take 30 damage, which will put them down to 90 HP, and we will knock them out. Looks like they just drew that, so <laughs> that's unfortunate. But it's all good, though. All right, we'll see what they end up doing here. We want to maybe see them... Um, not attack me. That's that's the plan. We do need to get Mew. Uh, honestly, our bench is kind of clogged. Not gonna lie, our bench is kind of clogged. We might have to have a turn where we might have to let a mine one mine chow be in play instead of two. I because like it, oh, we have to have Mew. And we have another Pidgeotto in play. I think we're gonna have to try to just. We'll have to play. Oh, they got the switch. That's fine. We get Bruno here. Oh, Gucci it was all part of the plan, bro. Totally. Probably should have brought in Swablu to be honest. I don't think it matters. Okay. Evo Incense, we can get Altaria. Could do Airmail and then Bruno. Get Mew here. I wouldn't mind that. But uh, we should find a level ball off of the Bruno, right? We're, they're guaranteed, pretty much, right? Ugh, spoke too soon. Ah, uh, we actually didn't get a Mew. Oh my god. Bruh. I, I actually can't believe we didn't get a level ball there. That's insane. Hmm. Yeah, that's not good. That's really not good. Ooh. Yeah, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. Because they... Oh, they can evolve out of confusion. Oh my gosh. So bad, bro. Oh, man. What do I even do? Do I bring in... I guess we bring in Altaria. Because we're not going to be going... We're definitely not using Mind Chow next turn. So we're definitely just going to go Speed Dive. If we find capture. Oh, that sucks. We did lose our rod too. I mean, there's a chance they whiff the attack here. But that chance is like 0%, I want to say. Yeah, not good. See, this is the problem now with the single prize decks. Urshifu, man. It's like, it kind of gatekeeps them. But okay, it actually looks like they're going to offer Empoleon. Oh, they're playing a Dragapult build. That's even worse because they have a Max Phantom to knock out my Pidgeotos. Oh my goodness. It's so bad. Yeah, this could be a rough matchup, guys. This is not a very good matchup. I don't really know. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see what happens. And a waves. That's fine. Not a big deal. Well, I guess now we can't retreat as easily. It's not really a big deal, though. We just need to get Mew in play. This gives us another turn to get Mew down, which I like. It's actually an hard retreat. Interesting. That's one less energy now. Nice. And Polion, I did think get fixed. It did get fixed, though, right? So they can definitely move the energy off. This is good. We get another turn, which is nice. We need to probably put Mew and Pidgey in play. Oh, there's a the capture G. Let's evolve. We we'll just go capture energy on Altaria and put Mew down. It's tempting. It is tempting. No, we'll Marnie. We'll Marnie. We'll try to get U-turn board. I do want to attack him, right? So we'll see. We'll see. Okay, it's not bad. Not bad. Oh no, we didn't get U-turn board. Okay, never mind. So we're not gonna be attacking them this turn. We did get Mew at least. Oh, that you concede? Okay, I'll take it. Free dub. All right, there you go. Another one with the deck. I'll take it. Okay, here we go. Let's get another match. We got that dub there over the Urshifu deck. Very surprising that my opponent conceded, but I'll take it. A win is a win. That gets me closer to that Fuller Welder. All right, uh, we get a Pidgey start here. This hand is cool. Okay, I'm hoping we can draw a Swab Blue so I can put an energy on it. No. Ooh, we're playing against Lapras. Fine, we'll get Mind Chow. Mind Foo. Hmm. I might retreat now. They can't one-shot me, obviously. Nah, we'll stay in the active. It's fine. We'll stay in the active. Actually, they might fan of waves me. No, Lapra no, there's no way Lapras will play anyway. That's just a bad card. It's all good, though. Yeah, everyone's playing this Lapras deck because it got top eight at the recent, um, the recent, uh, tournament. It's kind of surprising. I feel like Inteleon's just a better water Pokemon, but I guess Lapras does the job, too. Okay, this hand's not bad. Um, honestly, we should probably wait till they evolve into Lapras to confuse them, because I, I don't know how many Switch they play. I didn't really look at the Lapras list, not gonna lie, because I don't really care about it, but I wonder how many Switch they play, right? So, maybe we hit them with confusion when they Switch. I for certain know that they probably can't beat Altaria. We probably can win the game if we get the Altaria in play. We might not even need Mind Chow. 
kind of the problem with this mind shout deck is like half the time you don't even need the mind shout because you literally you just, half the time you just win because you have an altaria in the deck you know kind of kind of sussy um play the bruno oh, i could have gotten mind food oh yeah rip i could have got mind shout it's all good we still got it anyways we got the doll that's what i was hoping for get a doll here see what air mail gets us uh, I'll take the Evo Incense. We already have a Sinlin in our hand. Do we evolve? Yeah, I'll evolve. That's fine. No other basics is unfortunate, but it's all good. I'm hoping they don't get the mo the boss knockout on my uh, on Pidgeotto, Swablu, or Mind Chow. Hopefully, they just hit my doll here. Actually, even better. Hopefully, they don't knock me out so I can Sinlin for the Bruno, and then they knock out the doll, and then I get the full access to Bruno. But I doubt that'll happen. They probably have the knockout here. I am scared that this, this will get them a boss's order and a Lapras. But again, I mean, if we get an Altarian play, I I can't imagine how they're going to win. Um, I, I don't know. Like, I don't... Unless they play Suicune. If they play Suicune, though, we go Mind Shout anyways. We'll see. Yeah, I don't I don't know this list that well. I don't know if it has... I don't know how many Switch they play. That's another big thing. We'll see what they got. They're going to Calm here. Okay, they got the VMAX. They have a three-card hand. Will it be... A boss is my question. Boss energy would be bad. Ooh, they got a thing. All right. There's an energy. Do they have a boss? But I wonder what they boss. It ha I think it had to be. It would have to be like Pidgeotto, right? No, it'd be all, it would have to be Swablu. If I get the Altari down, I don't think they can win. So I think it would always be... Oh, they have Keldeo. That's fine. Nice. No boss. I wonder if they're going to knock out my doll, though. Again, I don't want them to because I want to get the... I want to get Bruno first. But we'll see. We'll see. We can always airmail into a supporter too. And we're going to evil first though. Let's try to get Altaria. Ooh, the Keldeal's already powered up. Are they going to attack me here? Ooh, they could have an escape rope. No, no. Then they already retreated. Ah, we're chilling, we're chilling. They knock out my doll, which is fine. Let's see, what we draw here. Another doll. Got the Altaria. Yeah, the Keldeal's annoying, but I like, if they don't have switch, we hit it once, it's confused. And well, they haven't played a switch yet, so I don't know. We'll do this first. Nice. Alright, we'll go with the we'll take the rapid energy and go into the doll. And we'll just send Lin for the Bruno. And then they knock out the doll. Yeah, bye then. Hopefully we get another mind foo here. That'd be nice. Another mind foo be cool. Mind foo one time. Mean foo. Let's go. We still need to get a uh Pidgey down. We're rocking with one Pidgeotto, just need it, Chief. But we got the confusion. We have a real... Our hand's actually perfect, too. That's hilarious. All right. Hit them with the confusion. They can retreat. Um, They have to go Keldeo, though. Slap the doll in. Hopefully, they don't have a boss here. And we are in a pretty good spot. All right. We'll see what happens. Even if they knock out my Altaria with Keldeo, we can still go hit with the uh, Mind Chow. I guess oh, they could just they could loop air balloon, I guess, and retreat every single turn with two different attackers. But eventually they'll run out of steam. As long as we deal with that Keldeo, I'll be happy. Oh, they had a switch. So they do play switch. And they don't have a boss. All right, cool. And we got Bruno. Still need to hit that Keldeo, though. Maybe we throw like a Mew in the active. There's the Mew. So here, here. We'll play the uh, Bruno first before we do anything else. Okay, there's the Mew. Uh, I'll do airmail first. That's a lot of supporters. Probably didn't matter the order I took that in. Get another mind foo. Alright, here we go. Swing for 90. Maybe we should play like a Vitality Band in here so we can do 100 damage. It would speed up the process of us winning this game. It would really speed up the process. We still have to hit this thing two more times. I don't play Mount Lana, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm almost certain they won't play Mount Lana. Oh, no. Air Balloon? Okay, no. Air Balloon doesn't matter because they can always training court. I was like, whoa, they have a 3 tree cost, but... The Air Balloon training court combo doesn't... It cancel each other out. All right. All right, sure. They had two switch in their hand. As long as they don't have a boss's order, it's all Gucci. Arnie, that's fine. This hand was kind of... Kind of sus. We just need to make sure we hit this Keldeo... For nine. We actually, if we confuse it here, then I'm another switch. We're vibing because we can actually go into the Altaria. Nice, we got the Bruno. Cool. Cool. We'll see if we can win this, guys. It's definitely going to be a close game for sure. 
Uh, this game is going to probably be very close, I want to say. Depends if we can keep up with the pressure, you know? Get rid of Mew. Another Mindfu. I do. I still need another Pidgey in play. All right, here we go. Bruno, we need to get Rapid Energy Mind Chow. Nice. Okay. We'll do Airmail first before we Quick Ball. Try to get a Pidgey. Nice, level ball. I'll take it. And we get, oh, we get level ball. I, there's nothing in my hand I want to get rid of, though. I think we just level ball for Pidgey. I don't want to get rid of any card in my hand. I know I can save the level ball to get him another Mind Chow next turn, but I just don't want to Quick Ball any cards away because I actually do want to bench this Swablu, which is what I'm actually going to do. And we're going to Spinning Whip. Right, every card I need. I guess we could have gone rid of the U-turn board. Maybe we should have. I don't know. Let's just hit him. Hope they don't have a switch combo here. If they have an escape rope, we'll feed them the Swablu, I guess. We have Rod still. And we just hope they don't have another switch. I don't know if they play four switch or not. We'll have to see. I, I can't imagine they play any more than two. I don't even know if they would have room for more than two switch. So as long as they're out of switch here, we're vibing. Unfortunately, we don't have a boss, though, to boss out the Keldeo and uh, knock it out. Nice. Let's go. Huge turn for us. And they concede. We got another dub with the deck. Yeah, we would have knocked him out. They were... Yeah, that game was... Yeah, perfect. Great match. And there you go. There's another, another dub with the deck. All right, I'll try one more game, I guess. I right, get another one last game here. I think we're up against ADP. I'm just taking a wild guess, judging from the coin in the deck box. The all-skilled ADP deck. Um, all right, not a bad start. We got the Swablu. All is good in the hood. Um, we have Bruno's or Draw Sport, which is an ideal, though. I am liking the Pidgeotos a lot more than the... Uh, than the, uh, what's his face? The, uh, Cinchinos. I'll say that right now. I am liking the... Quite a bit. I'm actually gonna get a Mindfu here, just in case. Just in case. Could go into the doll. Yeah, Swablu could get knocked out. Don't want to risk it. It could go, like, Mawile or something. Yeah, um, I am liking the Pidgeys quite a bit. Because, like, just because you play Cinchino over Pidgeotto, it doesn't, like, instantly make your matchup against, um... Was it Luke Metal, actually? It doesn't immediately make your Dragapult matchup winnable. It, like, it doesn't make a difference, you know? The Pidgeotto's thing, you know, pick your poison, whichever one you think is the better of the two. But I'm liking the Pidgeotto's quite a bit. Plus, birdies. I bet it's the shiny Cinchino, though. I don't know. Cinchino has its homes, but I don't know if it's that good in here. All right. See what they hit here. They unfortunately get energy. Let's see what we draw. Another Swablu's pretty good. We can Evo Incense for the Altaria. We'll bench a second Swablu. We'll level ball for Mind Chow, I guess. And then we'll just Bruno. This is the only issue with Bruno. I like the card. I really do. But I don't know. It's just like... I don't know. Yeah. Didn't really give us much anyways. That's fine. We'll see. We could, I guess we could have gone Pidgey there. But I don't want to put too many Pokemon. At this point, I think it just has to be Altaria wins us the game. Ooh, they can attack with Jirachi. Yeah, see, we still need the Mind Chow because they can attack with Jirachi. Uh, maybe ADP might just be a bad matchup for this deck because they just have a million Gus cards. You just can't deal with that. Not to mention the extra prize, which is just also stupid. So I, I think this matchup is just really bad. Unless you literally can put an Altaria in play and they have no way to beat you. That's like the only solution you'd have in this matchup. Because now they get the AC off. Oh, that's a really good Marnie, because this hand was kind of kind of bad, other than having a second Altaria, but we need a supporter or an energy. So I'm cool with that. What are you looking at here? All right, never mind. That's not really helping. What do we draw? I think we got a bench Pidgey. All right, we can level ball for another Altaria, at least. Oh, no, we can't. Shoot. Not level ball doesn't actually serve Altaria. That's fine, though. Um, Just get another... Pidgey, I guess. I right, was saying good, guys. This ain't good. I oh, nothing in Mawile. I don't know. They, they be, can you really beat ADP? To be honest, I don't know. We have to put the Pidgeotto in play because we're dead drawn. We can't seem to find any of our draw supporters or Rapid Strike energies to attack them. We have Boss in hand, so they're probably bossing my Mind Chow here. Oh, they actually didn't have it. Wow. Okay. This is where I wish I had that Twin Energy, man. Just to attack with Speed Dive. Maybe we should just play a Twin Energy. Ooh, they're building up Zacian. No, they're definitely putting energy on. Yeah, I was going to say. There's no way they're not going to do that. How much does this do? 60? Does 2 Shami. There's the Rapid Strike Energy. Okay. 
We can confuse the ADP. There's a capture energy. I don't think we need that. I definitely think we go confuse. Force him to have a switch. Make him have a switch and a boss or something. I think this is fine. They might whip an energy actually for uh, the Jirachi. They're down seven energies now. And they have no none of the discards, just, so they can't saucer. So they could maybe whip the attack here. Oh, they got the Guru. Yeah, okay. This is, we definitely need to attack with Mind Chow. Yeah, I don't know. The, the ADP matchup, man. I don't know if it's that good, man. I'm not going to lie. I don't know. You just have to get lucky, I guess. It just comes down to luck. We'll see. We still need a boss. Maybe we should play two bosses and Stengus and just one. I don't know. But it's like not, it's not like you have to play boss all the time, but it definitely would be good to play a boss or two in here. Or an extra couple bosses. I don't think you would need any more than just two, though, to be honest. Ooh, they actually had the energy. Okay, sure thing, buddy. You actually had it. All right, cool. Sure. Believable. Man, the Malon to go with it. Sure. What else do you got? You got a Dedenna in your hand just to make your hand even more broken? No way. No way, Jose. Yo, let's go. They stellar wished. Now they're asleep. Yo, let's go. The misplay is real. All right, this is good. Oh, but then they still get a switch. They can still switch and retreat, which I'm fine with, I guess. That's such a bra moment, though. Are you serious? Oh, he goes into Guru. Oh, okay. What? That was, what? What just happened? All right, whatever. I'll take it. What do we draw? Supporter, please? No. Supporter? No. I have to play it. Hmm. I might just capture. There's no way Bruno, there's no way Bruno's gonna get us mind chow and rapid energy. There's no way. We'll bench this too. There's no way. Ah, we'll try it. I pfft, maybe. Who said alright, let's go. I pfft, easy skill. All skill, no kill. Alright, I'll skill. I'll skill. I'll skill, bro. I'll confirmed all skill. Oh, you know what I mean? Confirmed all skill. All right, let's go, Mind Chow. You're busted. I maybe could have benched other Mind Food because they could boss me here. Um, it's fine though. What do we get? Mew. Oh, don't have a Mawile. Don't have a Mawile. We could play Net in here to counter Mawile, but it's like we're devoting way too many spots for that. It's like, do we have room for Net? Not really. Might not be the worst card ever to play, to be honest. I don't know. Oh, maybe I'm just overthinking this. Oh, uh, that can get a Mawile. They just have a gajillion attackers, apparently, that can take me out. Hmm. Yeah, they did the boss. Damn it, bro. The boss is order. And they take two prizes. What a very fair game. Do they even have energy left? One. They're out of metals, so that's good. What do we draw? Thinlin. Hmm. Do I want to Marnie them? I think I, I think I have to. I'm probably going to give them the boss here, but they probably have it in their hand. They play four boss. How do you deal with four balanced bosses? Orders? I can't. I'll do Airmail first. Okay, we got another Altaria. I'll put into play here. Now, the, okay, the thing is, the position we're in, we kind of have to commit to the bit because we are in a position where we will lose the game to just boss boss, right? So, at this point, it's fair game to just bench anything. I mean, if this ADP deck didn't play, like, a bunch of random Pokemon that can attack me, we probably could have won this game. But as per usual, ADP is persistently a bad matchup for these single prize decks. It is what it is. And I probably marted them into the boss, didn't I? So, what will they knock out? Told you. Actually, interesting. They don't target my bird. I would have probably knocked out the Pidgeotto, to be honest. Um, I guess this works, too. Yeah. We're losing this game for sure, guys. We're definitely losing this. Unless we... Somehow boss knock out. That's not going to happen. Yeah. I think we're losing this game. It's just, yeah. The... The ADP matchup is just so... It's so hard for these type of decks. This, they were just designed to not be able to win. No, we got another Mindfu. Yeah, we can bench at this point because we have a Pidgey in play. 
see what happens, guys. Here we go. We're gonna go for it. We could have not went for it, but we don't. Have, we're not guaranteed a boss, so we just we should just attack them and just try to do something, I guess, and just put pressure on them. They are down four switch out, so maybe they'll whip them out, Lana. Here, they could win the game if they get switch boss too. So we'll see. They probably have the last boss again. Like you just you're playing a single prize deck. You can't beat ADP even if you play Altaria. You can't beat ADP. ADP was designed to make it so single prize decks just can't work. They had another guru. What was this man build his deck to counter me? We'll see. If he doesn't have a switch here, that's cool. Bro, this man's got the anti Altaria deck. He doesn't one shot me though, which is good, right? No, he does one shot me because still. Okay, that's game over. We lost. Yeah, never mind. This man, bro, his deck. Do so freaking perfectly, bro. All right, that'll be it for the video on the Mind Chow deck. We fall to ADP here, which, as per expected, we don't stand a chance against. Love it. But that'll be it for the video, guys, on the Mind Chow deck. I really did like the Pidgeotto over the Cinchino. Um, the only benefit I can see with using Cinchino is it you can attack for the Capture Energy and you can thin out cards by discarding. I don't know. I, I the Pidgeotto seemed pretty good in my opinion. I, you both are probably fine. I, I don't think it makes a big difference if you play them just for a certain matchup. Like because you play Pidgeotto doesn't mean you know you know just because or just because you play Cinchino doesn't mean you're like gonna be good against Dragapult. You still probably just take an absolute fat L to Dragapult anyway. So it doesn't matter what support Pokemon you play, you still lose to Dragapult. So it's not gonna matter at the end of the day. Personally, I prefer the Pidgeotto. You can swap Pidgeotto for the Cinchino engine if you want. Be my guest. That'll be it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed today's Peace Show video on Mindchow, drop it a like. Yeah, Mindchow, pretty cool deck. I think its main Achilles heel is Boss's Order and ADP. And maybe maybe even G-Max or Shifu because they just go G-Max Rapid Strike. And if you don't get Mew in play, you get absolutely cucked. So there's a bit of gatekeeping with this archetype, but I think it's pretty fun. Some decks don't have answers to this deck sometimes, so maybe it's good. I don't know. That'll be it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to uh, subscribe down below if you're new to the channel. Help me the order reaching. 15,000 subscribers. We are less than 200 subscribers away from 15k. So slap a like on the video. Uh, check out Karkhaven down below. You scroll all the app, all that good stuff. Check out my Twitch, my Twitter. You can also check out my Patreon. Um, and that'll be it. Bye-bye.